my biggest storyline. I'm waiting. It's got to be about Duke. Is it's about Duke. I mean, you I don't pump this for an I don't hour. Think, I don't think enough people are talking about the Blue Devils right now. Uh, okay. They have won five of their last seven games. They've won a very nice six of their six, last nine. You mean six of the last seven, don't They've you? They've won a very nice six of their last nine games. But you're giving them a loss for the, the one in Charlottesville. Well, the one they didn't win the game, but if, if that foul gets properly overturned yeah. and Kyle Filipowski yeah. hits a free throw, yeah. they win in Charlottesville. And if Kyle Filipowski getting punched in the neck gets oh, yeah. called That's as right. a flagrant foul, yeah, yeah. The, then that, you know, they, they win probably that one. end up winning that game. And if we're talking about those two calls getting made, this is not something that Duke did on the floor. This was officiating rules that were like, right. at, at best, controversial. Sure, Like, it was a talking point, both of those calls. If they go the way towards Duke, we're sitting here. Duke has won eight of their last nine, nine games. They will be a game out of first place. No, I'm sorry. You know what? They would be tied for first place in the ACC because they would have beaten Virginia. Virginia is in, uh, yeah, in the first that's place. Right. Would have that's Virginia. Right. So they'd be tied for first place, having won eight of their last nine games. <laughs> Derek Lively's figured it out defensively. Derek Whitehead is healthy. Yeah. Kyle Filipowski is still playing at the level that he was playing. He's gotten at. it back. Tyrus yeah, he's Proctor it back. has kind of figured it out. Jeremy Roach is healthy. So I think they're kind of flying under the radar here. I know, like, it's about Memphis. Whitehead. It's still about Whitehead for me. And he had 14 points in 19 minutes today and shooting it well. Mm-hmm. To me, it's always been all about Dariq Whitehead for me, whether this team can be a second weekend tournament type team. Because they do. Like, Lively's been a little bit inconsistent, but he's certainly capable. Roach, if he doesn't have to do too much, is perfect for what they need. Obviously, Proctor has been inconsistent. He's young. He's reclassified, whatever. Mark Mitchell made a huge shot the other night. He's been good. Blake's can come off the bench and guard a little bit. You got the, the veterans and Grandison and Young that now are role guys, which is what they always should have been, mm-hmm. but couldn't be early in the season. I think Shire has done a really good job. I think he's done a very underrated coaching job this year. And I hope people give him credit for it when they're like a number six seed at the end of the year. I know everybody's like, well, Duke always should be in the top 10, top 10, this, that, and the other. I just think with the a young team. The problem is people are going to look at the recruiting rankings. Right. And they're right. going to say, you had the top two yeah. players in yeah. the class. Sure. They did not have the top two players in the class. Right. They had two of the top five players in the class. Yeah. Scoot Henderson is the best player in the class. He's with G League Ignite. The Thompson twins can make the argument we're better than Lively and Whitehead. Sure. Those guys are overtime elite. Right. Three right. of the top five players. I would make the argument three guys that were better than the two guys that Duke got were in college. So Duke got the two best players that went to college. In a class that's not great. In a class that's not great. Right. So not all top five recruits are made the same. Not all five stars are made the same. Always remember that. I it's think almost like not all hosts are made the same. Yeah, some of them are like you and some of them are elite. Like me. I'm the Zion of hosts. Yes, you <laughs> oh, so you're going to go down with an injury in the middle of the show? I, I mean, I'm cramping up right now. It's, it's his feet, man. I'm hurting over here. 